again with another one. It's eight minutes past four in New York, and we are looking at Wex Texas Intermediate Crude Oil. We currently just purged an external range of liquidity. Potentially, we could go down to the downside. We're looking at the four hour right now. Price is currently tapping into that fair value gap. We crashed through that order block over there, currently playing in between this other one over there. If we pre break through this, then the short-term sell trade for today is invalid and we'll probably continue to go attack that high and ultimately make our way up to the overall target that we detailed in yesterday's video. If you didn't check it out, be sure to see it to understand what's going on today. Just looking at it right now, going to the 15 minute. We have a potential bearish power of three setup forming. As you can see, we had the accumulation in Asia and now we're taking out the Asian highs within today's current London session. So what I'm anticipating or looking for to happen is the opposite of what happened yesterday. You see yesterday it accumulated, attacked the sell side and then expanded up. Today we accumulated, attacked the buy side and now we might expand to the downward direction. If you look to the one hour, potential target could be this area over here. But we will see what we are offered. Um, I'm not trading today. It's NFP week. I only trade um, the Monday, the Tuesday, and the Wednesday. Thursday, I don't touch anything. And then on Friday, if anything, I'll wait for after the news or the numbers comes out. So like I said, the model we're looking for is the accum accumulation like so. Upward manipulation and then price to make its way to the downside. So this is what we are anticipating. Like I said, I won't be trading live. I'll just be paper trading. Not going to pick up more risk than I need to. Yesterday was a productive day, as you know. And then we'll take it from there. We'll take it from there. What has me thinking that this could be what we could see? Note how we accumulated just above that high over there. Just above that high. Now we're currently playing within that four hour fair value gap that you saw. Note how the candle body is not piercing above that zone. We just wicked above it. Let's go down to a five minute. Let's go down to a one minute. Only price will tell. I don't trade London session. I'm a New York session trader, so we'll see. Let's see what news releases we have today. Today's the fourth. We'll just put that filter on. We only look at high impact news drivers. We're not going to waste time with the others. Then we just focusing on USD. Apply filter. For those wondering what site I use, I use forexfactory.com to get my news. We can expect ADP non-farm employment change numbers and as well as unemployment claims from quarter past three as a standard time. In Eastern Standard Time, this is about 8.15 a.m. and 8.30 a.m. That's what we are anticipating for WTI today. We'll see what happens. If it plays out, I might be a bit smug, in all honesty. Looking at NASDAQ so far. may give us the same thing notice how the setup yesterday formed we had that accumulation in asia manipulation up taking out that buy side from the previous session in the london session and then in new york we continued bearishly today or so far we're setting up something similar to yesterday of course um past results are not evidence of future performance so it might do the exact opposite or just do its own thing but we'll see and 
and then yeah post an update later on for everyone if you're not following us on twitter be sure to give us a follow the handle is s c h m d w i and we'll be posting daily daily otherwise have a safe day we'll tap in later